Hi guys, this WL Toys A979P is heavy after the metal upgrade. And WL Toys ESCs don't have a heatsink on the power MOSFETs. So this ESC started to overheat and switched off to protect itself. So in this video I will show you how you can improve the cooling of your WL Toys ESC. Let's go! The new heatsinks are made out of 0.5 mm copper sheet. After the first cut, the sheet is extremely bent. So it is straightened in the vise. The stripe is then cut into pieces of 20 mm length. The pieces are then straightened with a hammer. After that they are deburred with a file and one side is cleaned with sandpaper. One half of one side is then pre-tinted. The MOSFET tabs on the ESC are also pre-tinted. The heatsink pieces are then pressed in place using a cocktail stick. As soon as the position is ok, we can reflow the solder with the soldering iron. And this is the result. Each MOSFET has its own heatsink now. Because there is a voltage difference between the individual heatsinks, we have to make sure they can short out. So a conformal coating is applied. That's it, ready for a test run. The Arduino Gyro works. And yes, it is fast, even with the stock electronics. Let's take the body off and see how hot the MOSFETs are. Just mildly warm, no problem. I believe the C rating of this battery is just not high enough. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Bye!